All right, let's get started. Welcome to the latest webcast in Caring.com's Digital Marketing Academy. Our session today is about senior living and senior care reviews online. How to use this customer feedback to build sales and marketing success. I'm Denise Grubb, a marketing director here at Caring.com. And before we dive into the presentation, I want to let you know this is a one-way webcast where only the presenter speaks, but you can ask questions. We definitely want you to do that. There's going to be a couple points in the presentation where I'm going to ask you questions. Hopefully, you'll join in the discussion um, via the chat module or the question, the Q&A module. You can ask questions at any time during this session. We're going to have a Q&A at the end. And if we don't get to your question, I will follow up with you afterward. Um, and the number one question we typically get is whether or not the session is being recorded. Uh, you should see a recording button flashing in the upper left. The session is being recorded. And we're going to share the slides in the recording with you all tomorrow morning via email. Uh, Sorry, I'm uh, hearing that some of you are not getting sound. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, is anyone else having a trouble hearing me? Let me just chat. Okay, let me just see here. Okay, great. So um, the person that was having trouble with sound, maybe you need to dial in. Um, I'm hearing from other attendees that they are able to hear. Thank you so much um, for those of you who chatted. Um, but there, I just wanted to uh, reiterate that we will be providing you the recording in the slides via email tomorrow. And we post these on our Digital Marketing Academy blog um, in the events section. So if you don't get the email for some reason, um, visit the blog and I'll share that link toward the end here. Okay, the sponsor of today's free webinar is Caring.com. For those of you who are getting to know us and as a refresher for our partners, Caring.com is a leading referral service for senior living and senior care, and the number one site for reviews of senior services, including assisted living, in-home care, independent living, memory care, care homes, and more. In fact, we were one of the first to offer senior living and senior care reviews online, with some reviews on our website dating back to 2008. Currently, there are about 250,000 consumer reviews posted on Caring.com, and there are thousands added every month. Um, and each year, we compile the Caring Stars list of the best senior living communities and in-home care agencies nationwide based on consumer ratings and reviews and business responses on Caring.com. This Service Excellent Award was the first of its kind in our industry, and there are now um, some others that have it as well. Overall, we are known for hosting a high integrity reviews program with senior care experts, not algorithms, reading the reviews before they get posted on the website, well established guidelines that determine which reviews get published and which reviews are taken down, and we have US based customer service staff available by phone or email if help is ever needed with a review issue. Now, for those of you wondering uh, who I am and why I'm the featured presenter today, I've been at Caring for nearly 10 years and have extensive experience in social media marketing and reviews in particular. I was part of the original expert panel who created our review guidelines, and I've been a key player in the program in the years since then, including as the co-creator and manager of the Caring Stars Award program. Every day at Caring.com, I help our directory partners manage and optimize their online reputation by answering questions and providing supportive information about getting and responding to customer reviews online. A lesser known fact about me is that before I joined the team at Caring, I was curating thousands of reviews for an education website uh, whose online directory included K-12 schools throughout the nation. And in my personal life, I'm an avid reviewer of the businesses I use. So overall, I have a lot of experience, both personal and professional, with online reviews and a focus on senior care reviews. Um, and I'm excited to share some of my insights with you here today. 
I'll start with some key facts about why customer reviews are so important to your senior living or senior care business. I'll then discuss ways you can get reviews to amass a collection worthy of the Caring Stars consideration. We purposefully set the bar high for that award, and at the end of this presentation, I'll share some specific tips to help you try to achieve the 2021 award, and I'll also reveal the qualification deadline, so stick around for that. One zinger that disqualifies senior living communities and home care agencies every year is the failure to respond to negative one-star and two-star reviews. So we're gonna discuss in this session why you should respond to online reviews and some best practices to help you do it well. And as I mentioned, we're going to do a Q&A. Um, and for those of you who joined late, yes, we are recording the session and we'll circulate the slides and recording afterward. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into the presentation. Why should you focus on consumer reviews as a priority in your digital marketing? Now here's a question I have for you. Um, have you Googled your company's name and read the reviews online about your business? You can enter your answer in the chat. Have you Googled your company's name and read the reviews online about your business? Okay, great. I'm getting a lot of yeses. That's fantastic. Um, I recommend you do that regularly. You should see what boomers and seniors are seeing online about your organization. The majority are online daily. They're using smartphones, tablets, and social networks. This is particularly true for the adult daughters and daughter-in-laws that are researching senior living and senior care options for their elderly parent or spouse's parent. Um, and I, uh, also, I just wanted to go back to the chat. I wanna thank you all for adding your answers in there. That's great. One person also added that not only are they going to Google, they're using um, a marketing service to see reviews on the web. That's another uh, smart way to monitor your online reputation. So thanks again, everyone, for those answers. Um, with the rise in the use of the internet and in particular online shopping, so too have we seen an accumulation of millions of reviews across the web. Few, if any, industries are immune to getting online reviews today. For senior living, um, as many of you know, it used to be that some of your prospective customers would drive by your location to get a sense of whether or not they wanted to learn more, or take a tour. Um, one of my referral specialist colleagues here at Karen.com now describes reviews as the new drive-by. Uh, in the modern marketplace, your new resident and their family is perusing your online reputation first before checking out your brick and mortar. And this is true for home care too. Um, they're expressing interest and returning your calls when they've seen enough reviews to persuade them to do so. And even if the seniors and the family members are getting a recommendation um, from an offline referral source or a doctor or a friend, maybe hospital discharge planner, they're still going to go online and read the reviews about that suggested business. All right. Sorry, the slide didn't move forward there. Um, in fact, search engines and online directories are showing reviews as a standard part of the search results. The reviews are helping businesses rank and stand out in those results. And Google, as you see on the right side here, it has a reviews around the web module that appears when someone does a business name search that shows that consumer not only the reviews on Google, but the reviews from the web. And caring.com is often featured in the very first slot there. And over to the left, you see search results on caring. That same business is flagged as top rated. They are a caring stars winner for three years and they are ranking at the top of the search results for their area. So that shows you also how reviews can influence search in not only search engines, but in online directories as well. It's now the case that people searching for a local business are gonna to click to view the listings or the business profiles that have the reviews, and they're gonna skip those that don't have them. Uh, we've watched this on Caring, other websites have measured it, it's just a fact now. So if you don't have reviews about your business online, you're likely losing business to your competitors who do. 
Okay, so some of you know about the search engine marketing firm Bright Local. Um, they survey online consumers in both the US and Canada, and they've been doing that for over five years. Um, I'm a fan of their annual research on reviews use. Um, I share it in my reviews webinars, it's very insightful. Um, in, in every study they've done in recent years, they found that the vast majority of people nowadays will trust an online review as much as a personal recommendation. They also splice some of their data findings um, by age demographics. And among US adults age 55 or older, 71% are now reading online reviews when they're researching local businesses. And they're reading an average of seven reviews before they even trust uh, considering that business. Um, they also found that 70% are folks are visiting multiple websites to read reviews and half won't even use a business that has an overall average rating less than four stars. Um, that's really powerful data. I think that is another reason you should make sure that online reviews is part of your marketing strategy. Now, Bright Local took it a step further uh, in their 2019 study. They asked folks, what are you doing after you read those positive reviews? The top five actions that they found was the consumer is visiting the business's website, they're searching for more reviews, visiting the actual business location, continuing the search to compare other businesses' reviews, and they're contacting those businesses. So that too reinforces the importance of online reviews to the search and selection process. On caring, we found that 15 is the magic number for optimal business impact with reviews. We've studied the influence from multiple partners, and here's one example of what 15 or more reviews can do for a senior living community's inquiries, tours, and move-in results. This particular partner had over 100 listings on our site, and we looked at them in aggregate. So we compared the average number of inquiries, tours, and move-ins for the listings with only one to two reviews versus our listings that had 15 or more. We did not narrow this research to positive reviews only. The volume of reviews included all ratings. We found that this particular partner, um, their listings with 15 or more reviews had five times more leads per listing, seven times more tours, and eight times more move-ins than their listings that only had one or two reviews. Now, I have this study published publicly. Um, we also did one in home care. That's also available publicly. And you can, review, you can email reviews at Caring. I'm happy to provide that link to you. I also did some calculations on on the um, estimated monetary value of a single review based on these case studies. So I'd be happy to share that with you afterward. Now, another business outcome from focusing on reviews is achieving awards for service excellence. Um, so Caring Stars is a long-standing, large list of award-winning senior living communities and home care agencies who've harnessed the digital marketing opportunity and been recognized for their stellar services. Um, back in 2012, when we launched this award, it was the first of its kind, um, for, and it was for assisted living and memory care. Um, for those communities that were achieving a high volume of praise and taking the time to respond to any negative feedback. Today, any senior living community or home care agency listed on caring.com, any senior living community or home care agency listed on caring.com can get reviews to qualify if they meet the rigorous criteria that's based on the consumer reviews. Now, I emphasize that that's really important to note because there can get a little confusion around this point. Caring Stars winners are not determined by caring.com picking its favorites, and there's no voting or random drawing either. You definitely cannot buy a Caring Stars award. Instead, this distinction is based on the customer reviews on your caring.com listing. And while you don't have to be a caring.com partner to be a caring star, we do have inquiry tour and move in data for those who are. We've pulled those numbers and we've compared it to our partner listings that haven't won the award. We found that Caring Stars winners on average got twice as many inquiries and move ins in the partner listings that hadn't won the award. Um, we know that families want to narrow the search to the best communities or the best agencies and the integrity of our reviews program and the extensive vetting we do of the Caring Stars 
helps instill confidence for them that they should request more information about these winners. They should take a tour of the senior living communities. They should return the call of those agencies. Um, and the move-in data all, also helps reinforce that these truly are the best communities. The, the people they're serving are really happy with their offering and they're willing to share that feedback to help other families. Now, every year, the Caring Stars uh, program generates positive content, media coverage, social media buzz, and it boosts morale at these winning organizations. Some Caring Stars winners put the badge on their website and their newsletter. They'll even put it on their billing statements as a reminder of the quality services they're delivering. And both the reviews and the award make for good content on your social media profiles. Um, the Caring Stars are frequently featured in industry press, um, in local newspapers. It really helps raise awareness about the quality of the services. Uh, and we typically announce uh, the senior living winners in November and the home care winners in December. But but these, these communities and agencies are celebrated year round on caring.com and by the winners themselves. In fact, there's a whole marketing kit of free materials that Caring Stars winners get. Um, they get uh, several versions of the award badge, both online and offline, uh, so high resolution for printing, a press release template, a social meme, we also send um, special certificates for lobbies and offices. And in recent years, uh, a new popular item is the Caring Stars website widget that helps the winners stand out as the best in their state and links to those reviews so that prospective customers can go read how great they are. Um, and as I showed you early on, the Caring Stars designation shows up in search results in uh, our directory as well as on the listing. Um, so that's another way we help them stand out. And we love hearing from the winners themselves about how they're celebrating the award. Um, they do it via local events, custom banners, brochures. Um, this year we had uh, a, an organization that put their winners on their local Chamber of Commerce website. Um, we've seen all sorts of great ways to promote it. And I do a winner webinar where we go through those to give ideas to new winners. Um, they really know how important it is to conveying the quality of their services and they're making the most of it. So it's, it's really Really a, a wonderful way um, to showcase the quality of your services. Now, before we move on, I just want to take a moment to applaud the Caring Stars of 2020. Great job. Congratulations to each and every senior living community and home care agency who achieved this distinction for this year. Um, if you want to see who made the cut, uh, you can visit our homepage. We showcase them on the homepage year round. Um, you can scroll down to the middle of the page. Uh, at, when we do the first announcement, it's, it's blasted across the top. But um, at this point in the year, you'll still see it on the homepage, just lower down. So go take a look at that winner list. See who in your area won. Some of them you'll see are the only one in their area. So that's a big win for their marketing as well. Okay, now let's talk about the ways you can get more five-star reviews and earn your way to the Caring Stars 2021 award. I wanna first take a quick poll. Who at your organization is asking your customers for reviews? Let me launch it here. Hopefully you're seeing the poll. Go ahead and take a minute to answer this question. Who at your organization is asking your customers for online reviews? Okay, great. Hopefully you're seeing these responses. Um, all right, here we go. Um, all right, I'm still seeing some activity. Wow, lots of responses here. Okay, there we go. We can end it now. Let's share the results. All right, so um, the winner is all of the above. That is fantastic because that is the correct answer. <laughs> and let me explain why. Um, back in 2017, we did a series of interviews with some of the partners we thought were doing an excellent job with managing their online review collection. We wanted to know what they were finding to be most helpful to their organization in getting reviews. And one of the most common themes we heard across those interviews was that their organizational leaders had helped reinforce reviews as a priority for the organization and that seeking customer feedback had been instilled deeply into their company culture and standard operations. So if your organization has 
Everyone asking, like from top to bottom, asking for reviews, you're doing it correctly. That is a successful, effective way to go about it. Um, our partners also said that their employees were trained to understand the importance of online reviews and that they were trained in best practices for getting reviews. And their leadership sends a clear message that customer feedback truly matters to the success of the business. Everyone throughout their organization is customer service oriented and taking the opportunities as they arrive to get great online reviews. We also heard from some that had multiple locations that they had set up friendly competitions, setting a goal for a certain number of great customer reviews by a certain date and whichever location achieved the goal first got a pizza party or an ice cream social um, or other positive reinforcement such as company wide kudos from the CEO or their regional sales managers. Uh, in the chat module, I'd love to hear some of the ways you're engaging your employees to get more customer reviews. What's working for you in exciting your workforce uh, to ask for that feedback? Go ahead and enter it in chat if you're willing to share. Okay, all right. It seems like this is a closely guarded secret. <laughs> okay, um, great. Uh, well, uh, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, we have some folks that are also using the contest and we have another individual that also their organization is setting it as a goal. So that's great. That's aligned with what we've been hearing from our partners as well. Um, at our organization, Caring.com, we have review outreach cadences that we've built into our standard operation. Um, when we refer family caregivers and seniors to local communities and home care agencies, we follow up with those individuals to find out if they're willing to share a review of any of those businesses they've interviewed, toured, or chosen, even if we didn't refer them to them. Um, we have, uh, we, we reach out to them and ask them for all of the senior living communities or home care agencies they've considered are they willing to share a review of any of them um, and we also follow up to collect feedback about how well our family advisors are serving their needs um, you'll see we have high marks on fifo.com with those consumer reviews of our referral services fifo.com is a specific transaction based service so um, it's only customers that we've actually helped via our referral services they're adding reviews there and that's where we're getting great reviews um, we also are hearing uh, from a few folks, one folks asked me to repeat the question. The question was, what are some of the ways that you're engaging your employees to get more reviews um, and getting some more great answers? Uh, we're hearing from um, some individuals that are saying that they're really attentive to praise and ask for them to share that on Google or caring. Um, another person said that their community relations directors ask families who love them to review them and they end up leaving wonderful reviews. That's great. I'm going to talk about that more um, in just a moment. And then uh, more about competitions between the marketers and different branches to help increase online reviews. Um, and then one person um, herself is or himself is a um, concierge visits the communities um, looking for positive feedback. So that's great. Thank you for that input. I really appreciate it. Proactive outreach to your happy customers and their family members to ask for reviews should be among your tactics for getting great reviews on your listings too. Your team should also be ready to seize on review opportunities that arrive, um, that arise naturally in the course of their work daily. And some of you said you're doing that, so that's excellent. Um, so when one of your clients or their family members tells you how happy they've been with your services, take a moment to thank them and ask them if they're willing to share that feedback online to help others get to know your services too. Create like an elevator pitch, uh, which is a brief uh, synopsis of a verbal response for those compliments, right? So you're ready when they, when they come along, you know what to say to ask them. Um, have some handouts available. You could have a flyer with information on how to review you online, or you could have some review submission postcards handy. If someone emails or mails you a testimonial, don't assume they're okay with your staff posting that feedback online. That is private feedback they're sharing with you um, until they've opted into sharing their feedback publicly. So encourage them to do so, but don't do it for them. It's also important to consider the right moments to ask for reviews. Um, it, 
is it appropriate to ask right after the customer has signed a contract with you? Maybe not if that individual hasn't used your services yet, but you could include a review us postcard in the onboarding or welcome packet and check in in a few weeks later to see if they do have feedback about how things are going and would, would be willing to share a review online. Before outreaching via email to ask for a review, check in with that person. Make sure that they're still pleased with your services and are truly a great candidate for a positive review. If there are concerns that need attention, get those addressed first and make a note to follow up a month or two later um, when things are going well. Uh, and ask for a review when you're confident that the person has positive things to say about their experience. I also recommend that you consider the review platform and the review submission off option that you think is best suited for the person you're asking. So it was really great. Some of you mentioned that you are suggesting multiple sites. Um, that's good. And we talked about that earlier that consumers are going to multiple sites to read reviews. So you should have them in multiple places. Um, and so what you could do is like the young adult uh, granddaughter of your resident m is likely to have a Gmail account and she'd be comfortable posting uh, a review on Google. The adult daughter in her 50s and the residents themselves are probably better suited for a site like Caring that has multiple options tailored to them rather than the younger audiences and the websites that only have online submission. Match the reviewer to the best platform. Okay, so to help you get started, I've created this five-step action list to get five-star reviews. First, give some thought to which of your customers you know are happy with your services and can be reached by email. Once you've compiled that list, do an outreach campaign. Use your professional email account with your business signature. For those of you who are senior living communities partner with Caring, we have a feature in Partner Portal that enables you to upload a CSV of emails and easily run an automated outreach campaign there. That tool also tracks for you how many reviews you generated from that outreach. Um, however you do the email outreach campaign, try to focus your language on helping other families and seniors like your happy customer. We have found this is a very effective motivator for generating online reviews for senior living and senior care in particular. Family caregivers want to help others going through similar challenges they went through. Um, you know, it, maybe it was hard for them to find care at a living arrangement for their loved one and they want to make it easier for somebody else. They're happy to give five minutes to post their online review to do so. You can also add a review us on caring link to your website or employee emails as a regular reminder for customers about that opportunity to give feedback. Um, that's convenient and doesn't require you to do a specific outreach campaign, but you have to keep in mind that you could also um, get some negative reviews that way too. So that's really, um, that's, that's a real commitment to collecting customer feedback across the scale. Um, I think you should do it, uh, but I just wanted to make sure you understood that that is broader than a direct campaign to happy customers. And when you get positive four star and five star reviews, make sure you share that on your social media profile and link back to the review site. This is important. This is considered social proof of the quality of your services and by linking to the host site, you're showing folks that it's a real review, not marketing crafted. Um, there's also research that's been done that shows that the more you share positive feedback, the more you generate. The crowd attracts the crowd, if you will. And I'm sure your employees would love to be celebrated Celebrated uh, for their work in this way too. Uh, now this is a sample email you could send after receiving positive feedback from a satisfied customer. It starts by thanking the customer for their kind words, then it shifts focus to helping more families and seniors just like her and her mom, and what a meaningful difference an online review from her could make for them. It lets her know it won't take too much of her time, and it makes it convenient by giving her the quick link to get right to it. And it closes with focus back on serving the customer, presenting the business as open to receiving more feedback directly on how you can best serve her and her mom. This can help avoid negative feedback landing in the online review and encourages her to give you a chance to address any concerns um, if there are any that you're not yet aware of. Okay, so on caring, we get asked this a lot. How do I get reviews on my caring listing? Good news. Every listing on caring.com has a write a review link, which is custom 
just for that listing and you can access it from the write a review button and it changes the URL of the page. You see on the slide at the end of the listing URL above um, the business name, uh, you see hashtag new review. That is the trick for every listing on Caring. You can add hashtag new review for the listing URL to get right to that review submission page. This is the fastest, easiest way to get more reviews. And like I said, it's available for any business. It's not limited to Caring Partners. And we process these submissions typically within three business days, whereas the other review options do take longer. And what's great about this is it takes them right to the form and uh, which is quick and easy to fill out. They don't have to go hunting around our site looking for it. They don't put the review on the wrong page. Um, they don't get lost in all the other reviews. They go straight to entering their feedback. Um, and nowadays, senior care searchers are a lot more active online and savvy about the reviews they read. Um, they're more interested in seeing reviews from other just like them. They're not looking for reviews from your staff on our site. Staff reviews are appropriate on recruiting sites like Glassdoor and Indeed, but are not allowed on Caring, and they're not really good for other consumer-focused sites like Google, Yelp, or Facebook either. Focus on getting reviews from your cognitively healthy older adult clients or residents and their family members and friends who have firsthand experience with your services such as they visit the community or um, they've helped hire your agency or they're working closely with your agency on the care of their loved one. Avoid asking um, entertainers or vendors at the communities, uh, your home care agencies, owners, friends in the industry. Uh, we don't, on Caring, we don't accept home care agency employee reviews of senior living communities or vice versa. Um, there could be a conflict of interest with referrals. Uh, we're really looking for consumer reviews on our website. Um, so focus on getting those um, and uh, avoid the folks that have a conflict of interest. Now for caring partners, whether you're a senior living community or home care agency, we have a free service to collect reviews by phone for those of your folks who are more comfortable having that done. Um, it's no additional charge and all you have to do is get the consumer's permission to share their contact information and name with us. You send that to reviews and we follow up on a recorded line. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, that's one way to get phone reviews, but at Caring, we're also automatically calling all of the seniors and family caregivers that we're referring to our partners to collect their feedback as reviews. So that's another um, bonus for, for those of you that are partnered with us and another way to get reviews collected by phone. Home care agencies, um, there's another way for you to get reviews by phone via Home Care Pulse. That program launched in January 2017. Um, they, they've been integrated with us since then. And it's an excellent way for an agency to quickly build an incredible volume of great reviews on their listing. Um, that in turn helps those agencies not only rank in Caring's directory, but also attract and convert prospective customers um, from other places as well. Home Care Pulse regularly calls those agencies' clients and collects the feedback, asking their permission to share some of that on Caring.com. For those who agree, the reviews get pushed to Caring once a month. And you're going to see some home care agencies on our site that have over 100 reviews. That can happen when the agencies have been using Home Care Pulse for a couple of years. You don't have to be partnered with Caring.com to participate in this program, but you do have to have a Home Care Pulse account. Uh, contact reviews at Caring.com if you want more information. I'd be happy to share it with you. Okay, another service for our partners for review generation is reviews by postcard. These are self-addressed, posted, paid that you would hand out to your customers and their family members. Um, one thing to keep in mind is these take much longer to get reviews, um, and there's a lot more steps involved. There's, there's a high rate of error, unfortunately. Um, so I, I recommend you use these very sparingly. Um, and the customer still has to have an email address or a phone number to submit via this way. Um, that is required in case we have any questions. And with postcards, we frequently do. It's hard to read the writing. Um, so it's super important. And um, 
a really important note for those of you who have already been using the postcard program in 2019 or prior. We moved our postcard operations um, in 2019 uh, when we closed our San Mateo, California office after moving our headquarters to Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you still have postcards with the San Mateo return address and postage permit, please discard those and contact reviews at caring.com to get new ones, they're free. Okay, now let's talk about why you should respond to the reviews you get and why that's particularly important for negative reviews. How you respond to reviews can influence your prospective customers. Uh, in Bright Local's 2019 study I mentioned earlier, they found that 97% of those who are going online to read reviews are also reading the business's responses. That's incredible, and that's an uptick from prior studies. Um, and of those folks, 71% said their response can influence whether or not they use that business for their needs too. On caring, we asked senior care searchers, um, this was back in 2017, whether or not they were influenced by a senior living community or home care agency's responses uh, to reviews. More than a third said that the response really lets them know that you care and are listening to the feedback. 28% said they weren't sure if they'd ever seen a business response. So that's an opportunity in our industry in particular. And there were, of course, some who said it's going to matter how you respond. And only a small percentage said that their opinion could not be swayed by your response. And here's a tip. If you don't respond to negative one-star and two-star reviews on your caring.com listing, you can get automatically disqualified from caring stars consideration. So that's really important. If you respond to nothing else, at least respond to those. And not only does responding to reviews help you influence prospective customers, it can also help uh, raise your overall ratings. A Harvard Business Review study found um, that hotels that were responding to reviews got 12% more reviews thereafter and 33% saw an increase in their ratings. Um, anyone that wants a copy of this study, just contact reviews at Caring. I'm happy to share that with you. So the first thing, uh, you can't really ignore online reviews anymore. That's really not an option. You can't hide from or ignore your online reputation. You need to know what people are saying about your business and you need to take some strategic action to manage that reputation or else you're letting others define your reputation for you and you're missing out on some excellent sales and marketing opportunities. So when you get a new review, ask yourself some questions and consider your options. Here's a sample decision tree and suggested course of actions. The details obviously vary by review, rating and review platform, but this gives you a framework which with to approach each new review without panic, staying calm um, and in a strategic manner that, that best manages your reputation. Um, and again, we'll make the slides available after the presentation so you can have this handy at your desk. All right, now, I wanna cover some tips for responding to negative reviews and positive reviews. Um, if you can't contest a review to get it taken down for fact error or guideline violations, take the opportunity to publish a response. When you publish a response, your tone and messaging should demonstrate that you are open to hearing feedback, you're available to address concerns, it's natural to have disappointment, anger, and other emotions when you get a negative review, but do try to avoid letting those emotions cloud your judgment when you're writing that response. Keep in mind that you're speaking more to the prospective client than you are to the reviewer whose mind or opinion may already be, be made up. Your response is posted to the original reviewer, but it's the crowd visiting the listing who you can really persuade. Um, so, that response can help build your reputation more than the review that sparked it. Show you're an excellent communicator and you handle challenges with grace and professionalism. You're not argumentative, you're service oriented. You don't need to go tat, tit for tat. Resist the urge to debate the merits of every nit in the review. Try to keep your response to two paragraphs or less and avoid, this is so important, avoid revealing any private information that isn't exposed in the review. 
Take the conversation offline by inviting the consumer to contact you directly. Um, I also recommend that you resist the temptation to use a template on every negative review. Push back on your legal or PR department if you need to. Um, consumers notice this. We get comments to caring on this sometimes. Um, if they see the same templated response on every review, they are less likely to believe that you're sincere. So definitely alter your words and your response, tailor them to the individual reviews, and get more positive reviews to balance out the negative feedback. Um, now here I've shown you some samples from caring.com caring partners that they've published in 2020. There's lots more. Um, if you'd like to see more examples, uh, just contact Reviews of Caring um, or go to our directory. Even better, go to our directory, do some searches, poke around, see how your competitors are responding to their reviews. If they aren't responding, that's another opportunity for you to differentiate. For positive reviews, you can also reply to those. Um, and in general, there's more positive reviews than negative reviewings, negative <clears throat> ratings. That's a misperception that people go online just to vent. Actually, most people go online to share positive feedback rather than negative feedback on caring. Close to 80% of the reviews we receive are four star and five star reviews from consumers. Um, so Here's a few things that you can do when responding to positive reviews. And again, I've showed you some examples um, from 2020 and our partners. Show gratitude, be conversational. It's okay to add some relevant information about specific services or products uh, related to the compliments you've received, um, but try not to be shamelessly promotional. Um, and definitely promote those positive reviews as we discussed earlier. It'll help you get more. Okay, uh, I frequently get this question. In fact, I think I even saw it in the questions today. Um, what, uh, here it is. Do we get a notification from Caring when a customer posts a review? If you are a Caring.com partner, the answer is yes. The instant a new review is published on your listing, we send an email to the review subscription emails on the account for that partner. Inside the new review alert, is the text of the review, a link to your listing to see it, um, quick links to contest or publish a response, um, and uh, how to reach our team is also obviously there. Now, if you lose the alert or you wanna respond to older reviews um, or you're outside our network, let's say you're not partnered with Caring, you can still respond to reviews. You just need to email reviews at Caring for assistance. Um, and that's also the email you use if you have any questions about which action to take. Um, and for those of you wondering, when we publish review responses, we don't date the business response. So visitors to the listing don't know the length of time between the review publish time and the business response time. All right, another way to respond to reviews on caring.com is through reputation.com. We've been integrated with their platform since last July. So if you're a customer of reputation.com, you can log into their software to monitor and access reporting on caring reviews and submit review responses to our rapid processing queue. We process those responses daily. The reputation.com system also enables you to conveniently ask your customers for reviews on caring, taking them directly to the listing submission form. Some reputation.com customers use that feature to add the review us on caring to their website. And this is exciting news. One caring partner recently told me that they're going to use the reputation.com software to do a reviews outreach campaign via text message. I'm really excited to see how well that works out for them as it supports that more and more baby boomers and seniors are now tech enabled and comfortable submitting reviews online. Okay, now I promised I would discuss Caring Stars 2021. Each year with our reviews webinar, we announce the upcoming deadline. Uh, so mark your calendars. You want your communities and agencies to be qualified by October 15th. That's October 15th, 2020 for the 2021 award. 
it may seem like a couple months away and that you have plenty of time, but we've seen that sometimes it can take a few weeks or months before you get the review results you're after for qualification. It's really better if you're focused on reviews year round, but there's still time now if you rapidly respond to this opportunity to catch up as needed. Now, we don't reveal the exact winning criteria in advance, but I can give you some goals um, to that you can have uh, to, to have your community or agency reach to be considered for Caring Stars 2021. First, visit your listing. Make sure you have at least 10 published reviews by the October 15th deadline. Um, and even better if you can get 15 or more based on the study I shared earlier. Caring Stars isn't based on the total reviews you have on multiple websites, though. We don't count your reviews on Yelp or Facebook or Google, um, or we don't count testimonials that were emailed or mailed to you privately. Uh, to determine the winners, we look at original reviews published and public-facing on Caring.com listings. Aim for at least three or more new reviews published on your listing with 2020 dates, and at least one of those being a five-star rating. Across all reviews on your listing for all time, maintain an overall average rating greater than 4.5 stars, and I've said this a couple times, address all the negative reviews on your listings. And what does that mean? That means, contest them and get them removed by the deadline or publish a response. Some businesses, um, to cover their bases, publish a response first just to make sure they don't get disqualified and then follow up with us about any fact errors to get the re review removed entirely. Now, um, like the positive reviews, with this negative review criteria, we're looking at public data on the listing. A negative review is only considered resolved if it has the business response on the caring.com listing. So occasionally I hear from businesses that say, oh, but we resolved this with the customer directly. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. But that isn't part of the consideration set in caring stars unless that consumer comes back and retracts or changes their review or the business responds to the review. Um, and an important note for home care um, pulse uh, agencies, uh, we get the October reviews in early November. So the deadline is October 15th, and some of those October 1st through October 15th reviews aren't going to arrive to caring.com until early November. So for home care, it's really important that you monitor your listing through the first week of November and rapidly respond to any negative one-star, two-star reviews that come through in those final weeks. Once all reviews are in, we conduct an audit to ensure that we haven't missed any reviews outside the guidelines. You can remind your employees about this audit to help them resist the temptation to submit five-star reviews for your business listing. It's not gonna help them qualify for Caring Stars if they do that. We'll eventually find those submissions and get them removed. Once we complete the audit, we reach out to the finalists to help them prepare for the public announcement. That was another question I saw um, earlier, is do we alert the, the winners in advance? The answer is yes. Um, we do alert the winners in advance. We use the emails we have on file for new review alerts. Um, and if you're not partnered with us and don't have new review alerts and you're um, trying real hard to qualify for Caring Stars, it's a focus for your organization, you want to be alerted, get in touch with reviews at caring.com, make us aware of that. I will make a special note um, that if your community or agency qualifies, I will alert you. Um, and then we share in advance the PR materials uh, and we ask that our winners honor that embargo um, and don't do any announcements. Keep the secret until we make it public. Um, one last uh, tip I have for you on Caring Stars is at the beginning, we talked about checking your business on Google. Um, I also, if you're trying out for Caring Stars, I recommend you go to Google News and set up an alert for your business name. See what the news media, senior care searchers online, and caring.com will see 
when we visit Google News and we're finalizing our Caring Stars 2021 list before we announce the winners, we do a heavy PR push. So we want to see what's in the local news media um, before we contact them about any winners. Um, and you should be doing that about your business anyway. Um, okay, now I want to pause for more questions. I've been answering some as we went along. Um, here's a question about Caring Stars. It says, if one or more of our locations qualify for Caring Stars, are they recognized individually or as a company as a whole? That's a great question. The Caring Stars Award is for a specific property and specific listing. So yes, the company as a whole can celebrate all of their locations that won, and there are some of our partners that do that. They have a whole um, page on their website that lists all their partners, um, and, uh, but they, the actual award is for the individual properties rather than the company as a whole. Um, now, the, uh, another question a person asked was they were confused about whether or not they get 10 reviews or three reviews. The answer is both. Um, you want to aim for a minimum of 10 reviews, minimum of 10 reviews. I really think you should aim for 15. Um, and then we have, a, there's, a, there's a whole set of criteria, by the way, and it's public facing. We announce it when we announce the award, how those people, how those organizations earned the award with the full list. It's not 10 reviews or three reviews. It's all of the lit, all of the items in the list. There's a whole criteria list based on reviews. Um, so I'm happy to circulate that after this um, call. It's also on our blog. It's in our press release. It's on our consumer website. Um, so it's it's quite a few uh, items you have to check off the list um, and. Again, these slides will be circulated so you can revisit that slide and take a look at some of those tips I'm sharing specifically as well. All right, uh, let's see what else. Um, okay. Um, when we are talking with the person willing to give a review, what site do we direct them to? It's really going to depend on your focus and the person you're talking to. So, for instance, if you're trying to get the Caring Stars Award, and you don't have 10 reviews, and this person's willing to give a great review, I would direct them to the caring.com listing. If they uh, aren't comfortable online or they don't have an email address and you're a partner with caring, ask them if they're willing to give a review by phone. Um, if it's the adult granddaughter, let's say you're already in great shape on caring.com and you're um, getting a compliment from the adult granddaughter who's got an email address, likely a Gmail address, um, ask her to review you on Google. You really have options now and you don't have to be limited. You don't have to cover every review site, but do keep in mind that consumers are visiting multiple sites. Um, and obviously reviews on Google and caring are going to be the most impactful. Um, on caring because it's going to support referrals and on Google it helps with ranking. Okay, I got my favorite question. Will we be publishing this webinar? The answer is yes. <laughs> Both the recording and the slides will be circulated to everyone on this call, everyone who registered and published on our partner blog. Um, Okay, here's another question. We got a lot of great questions. I really appreciate that you guys are all taking the time to participate today. Um, so how do you get employees involved in attaining reviews? They cannot post any reviews, correct? That is correct. On caring.com and, and many of the review sites, actually, they cannot post reviews. There are two sites you can direct employees to post reviews. That would be Glassdoor and Indeed. That's great for recruiting. You definitely want your employees to post fabulous reviews on both of those sites. But for consumer reviews, no. Do not have your employees post reviews on the consumer review websites. And we talked about some of the ways that you can get employees involved. I'm going to publish a blog post in more depth on this as well. But um, it can start from the leadership reinforcing across the organization that reviews are a priority. You can do competitions. You can train your employees on reviews so you can share this webinar with them. Um, some of our partners have created one pagers for their employees. They follow up with me if it's specific to caring. So they make sure they're 
um, producing accurate information, I am happy to do that with you. You just have to email reviews at caring.com. Um, we are definitely supportive of training as many people in our industry as possible in understanding the opportunity of senior care reviews and maximizing it. Okay, it looks like I just want to make sure I've covered everybody's questions. Um, okay, it looks like we had two people with the same question about locations. Hopefully um, you felt that was answered. Um, all right, so I have a question here. I know a lot of consumers review and trust Yelp reviews, but it is Yelp's policy to not solicit reviews. How do you or others suggest encouraging Yelp reviews? This is a great question. And I, I didn't cover it in today's webinar because um, we had a lot to cover and, and I couldn't cover everything. Um, there's a lot about reviews that I wasn't able to cover today. But we did a study where we surveyed senior care searchers in particular about which review sites they trust. Yelp actually scored pretty low for senior care. It's great for restaurants. It's not so great for senior care reviews. Um, and as you found out, um, they have particular policies that can be uh, in, uh, prohibitive for senior care. For instance, you can only um, submit online. So some of the older adults that don't have an email wouldn't be able to participate on that platform. Um, we've also seen that Yelp will verify, if, if it's the individual's first time posting, they will require verification via email. Um, so some people don't get that email. Um, I've also heard from consumers saying that Yelp hid their reviews because they didn't have enough friends on the platform. So um, it's not the best, po it, it, in my opinion, it's not the best platform for senior care. Um, but if you, again, if you have an adult granddaughter of a resident who's comfortable online, already uses Yelp, that's your gal for writing you a review on Yelp. Okay, um, let's see if there's any other questions. We're almost out of time. Okay, looks like I covered them all, great. Um, if you have a question afterward, don't hesitate to contact Reviews at Caring. I am happy to answer your questions. I want to just summarize what we discussed today though. Um, so, reviews are highly influential in the search and can help your business meet and exceed its sales goals. But you need to actively seek out those positive reviews from your happy customers. Build this into your company culture. Responding to reviews can also boost your ratings and help you qualify for Caring Stars. The deadline to qualify for Caring Stars 2021 is October 15, 2020. Get and respond to reviews now. Don't wait till the last minute. Really encourage you to do that. Please reach out to reviews at caring.com if you have any more questions about any of this. Um, here's some contact information for our reviews team. Here's the blog I've been talking about. Um, and you're gonna be directed to that after we close the session. Um, so you could poke around our reviews section there. I really appreciate you taking time um, to listen to me share insights with you today. And, and I was excited about how many people participated. Great, thank you so much. Um, and I really hope you found this information helpful and I want your feedback. So I'm gonna prompt you at the end of this webinar to take a quick survey. How'd I do? Did you like the information? What did you like? What would you suggest I do differently next time? What would you like us to cover in future webinars? Please don't be shy. I really value your feedback and I hope you're gonna share your thoughts with us. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much and goodbye for now. <laughs>